Other questions, comments, or concerns? There's a mosquito in my garage. So if you see me doing strange hands gestures um, or applauding for no reason, that's, that's why. Um, just a few things coming down the pipe. As I mentioned, it looked like everybody got these submitted. Remember there's like the key thing is that you need to, and there's specific instructions in the assignment if you haven't got it in yet for how to share this information with Dr. A and myself. Um, we respectively suffer from strange relationships with Google Drive and CI Docs. And so if you do not follow the instructions for exactly which accounts to share to, then we will not receive your document. So please make sure you have a look at that. Um, your final thesis is due a week from today. And then the final, oop, jumping ahead, the final week, um, uh, there's a couple kind of like smallish things. Um, your resumes, hopefully you're all working on because in very short order, you're gonna need them to continue your careers. Um, so they're due on the 16th. Um, the final capsule and reflection is gonna be uh, a, a survey through Canvas that will take um, not necessarily a ton of time, but some, some careful thought and consideration. Um, and then the so, so you guys positive. should carve out time for that though. You should yeah. just leave it for like five, five minute kind of deal. Yeah. Please don't do it at 11 55 PM before it's due. Right. Like we'd like you to be awake, alert, sober. Um, even though you're kind of getting into these final weeks. Um, and then lastly, the, the final version of your data repositories, you kind of got everything organized today. Um, for today um, and the final version just sort of takes that and doubles down and, and we'll make sure that everything looks hunky-dory. Um, one thing I'm pretty sure the syllabus says this, um, but the data repository, even though it's a small chunk of points, is ultra super mandatory and you cannot pass capstone if you don't, unless you turn it in. So don't forget to turn it in. Um, any questions about these? What questions do you have? I have a question. So the preliminary, preliminary data repository, the one due today and the one due the 16, what's the diff, what would be the difference? Might not be, might not be different. So, so we're gonna look at it and, but, but in almost every year, there's lots of adjustments you guys need to do. So theoretically it could be the same. Okay. But but we'll look at it and say, oh, you guys got to adjust this. This this is this label is unclear, like that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, doesn't, it, it doesn't necessarily need to be a huge amount of time more, but almost everybody has to revise them. Years ago, I had them I had folks turn them in the day with their like the end of the semester with their paper, and it just almost everybody was spending hours and hours there. So we do it ahead of time now, so that we can check it. And if it's good, you're good to go. And, there would, and you just resubmit that same thing but um, most people need to modify. Is this way we don't have to try to track you down in like June? Great question, other questions? Yeah, I actually had a question about um, citing our sources. Yeah. So um, I noticed that when I'm downloading my like risk file from Mendeley, when I try and open it up, it won't show me any information. So like I uploaded the risk file to, you know, the uh, repository, but I can't see anything. Like it's just a blank file. Yeah. If you so try downloading it and then opening it in Mendeley. I also tried that. Like I, yeah, I figured you it would have into. Yeah, I imported it into my catalog, and it just did not work the way I wanted it to. Like it just didn't show anything um that's a mystery um but we can spend a little time today uh in this week poking around to see if Mendeley offers some support and guidance for how to avoid that I, I was also having the same issue and Dr. Anderson helped me out I had to send him the the blank sheet to his email and he was able to open it but I couldn't interesting yeah 
Yeah, just, just, so, just so people understand, um, there's, uh, depending on which program you use, there's different, um, for, there's different um, uh, proprietary formatting stuff. Just like there's like, like XLSX for, for Excel files, right? And then there's um, a CSV, the more generic version. That's what that uh, .ris, it stands for reference man, something, something, I can't remember the, the, the full acronym, but, but basically, um, so, uh, so if you think there's some weirdness going on, you can always save things as that RIS. Make sure though that um, sometimes if you guys are using more web-based platforms, there are relational things. So, so if you've embedded your PDF into the, into the, um, uh, into the bibliographic database, which is a great thing to do, um, sometimes there's an extra option that you need to tick, tick that says, you know, export the, the, you know, compress those files along with it as an archive. Sometimes it's export, sometimes it's archive. Um, so you might need to, to try a step or two. Um, and, uh, but yeah, but you can, you can always send us test, test versions and we can see if, uh, Dr. Ryan and Mariah can see if we can, um, uh, you know, open them. I had a quick uh, more question. Um, my partner and I were trying to download off of EndNote uh, the file and it kept coming out a TXT file. It looked like the contents in there were like formatted in like, I don't know how to explain like the yeah, so, so way a different file. Would yeah, so to be clear, what, what, what all these things are doing is essentially making a text, uh, unless you're attaching uh, a file like an image or a PDF. Essentially, um, they are using tags and there's a, a standardized tag for who the author of a paper is. There's a standardized tag for, you know, the pages and all this and that. And so essentially all we're doing is exporting uh, uh, text files, basically. Just some are a little fancier than others. Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. And, 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 so, it, and so the key thing isn't the text. The key thing is that it's formatted with all this this metadata or or these these tagged data, so that these these databases then can read it and go, ah, this goes in this uh, column, this goes in that column, this goes in that column, etc. Okay. Other questions, comments, concerns. Got a great question in the chat about about picking up our our hard copy posters. Yeah, so for that, um, so we keep them until graduation. We sometimes put them up. For example, um, some of our uh, New Orleans posters, for example, are going to a, an event next week. So you guys can pick them up after graduation day. Um, it, it's uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure yet the format, but, but historically we have had a, a science reception in the immediate wake of um, graduation. And we've put the posters up in and around those areas. So again, we don't have the exact details yet. If that is gonna happen, if it is gonna happen where, but that's why we hold on to them so we can display them in, in, in things leading up to graduation. If you guys wanna get your posters, by all means, you can come get them after graduation, your, 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 your printed physical posters. Um, I will also be sending folks a, a um, uh, individually uh, or, or probably actually just put them all in one folder and then send everybody a link that'll be an, an optimized, a, 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 a smaller version of your posters that are more likely to be easily emailable. So, uh, you know, same content as whatever you displayed on, on uh, Thursday, just in an in easily shareable format. in P easily shareable PDF format, excuse me. Uh, when will we be getting our evaluation scores? Can yeah, great question. So I'm, I'm almost done with them. Um, so waiting for a couple of the reviewers to, to send me the last of their feedback. Um, so uh, hopefully tomorrow. Any, anybody else other, I'm just, I'm just taking attendance as we're hanging out here. Anybody else have any other 
logistical questions they're wondering about? Okay. Cool beans. So um, I think uh, next we want to turn to just talking about. Um, uh, oh yeah. Okay. Right. Oh yeah. Just a, co a couple other things. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. I was um, mm -hmm. communicating with Susan chat. Um, just a reminder to mark your calendars for 4 p.m. on the 20th for an unofficial, unscheduled, unaffiliated, completely random. We're just going to suddenly all be together at institution um, celebrating the end of capstone, the end of the year, our graduating seniors. Um, they have um, food and libation of various flavors and um, Dr. A will wear his three-cornered hat and give a great speech and we really <laughs> hope to, to, to see you all there. Um, I'll probably get there early. Um, so if anyone wants to come and help me um, block off like half the courtyard, that'll be awesome. Um, and then commencement proper is on Sunday morning, the 22nd. Um, for those of you that are coming, we're, you're in luck because it gets real hot at graduation, especially the afternoon. So it's nice to be there in the morning, um, but parking will be um, a shit show. So don't hesitate to come early. Totally. I'll say that again. Don't hesitate to come early. Um, and uh, we'll see you there. Yeah, and I think we're going to, I believe we're taking our photo, but we're going to try to take an ESRM photo with students slash faculty uh, beforehand, right? Dan, is that what we talked about? Yeah, I'm not, I'm honest, I'm not quite sure how it'll work. Everybody, we'll all be on the South Quad, like lining up and dancing around in our funny robes. Um, and so, I'm so, not so like- We'll update you guys, we'll update you guys. But yeah, we'll keep you posted. It may be that we it. just like grab you all and run and stand under the bell tower and take a picture and all the organizers will get all PO'd at us, which is typical. Well, but we'll 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 DVD. have some we'll, we'll have some guidance, and while not required, we strongly encourage and invite everyone to come and all physically be together and snap a bunch of pictures. Your family can take pictures, your significant others can take pictures, whoever, and then we at least get a, a good shot of of everybody together. We can do that also on 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 at that random day when we're gonna be at institution. But uh, of course, not everybody will come to that, and not, and you guys won't. Be and it's not the robe. same when you're not wearing your funny robes. Right, 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 yeah. right. I I think we should do it on like the Sierra patio, second floor patio after commencement. So that we'll talk. We'll talk about it. After, we'll keep everybody after posted. Seems to always be not everybody comes after, but yeah. but okay. Um, Peter, you had a hand go up and then go down. Yes. Uh, well, I will unfortunately not be able to attend the twentieth of the random meetup at institution. I don't even know what meetup you're talking about, but I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah, I know, it's it's so sad, but is there possibly a chance that there might be another random meetup after or the day of graduation, the commencement? Uh, not that I'm aware of. So usually um, everybody does family stuff on, yeah, on that. Like they go typical. to lunch, they go to have a party. So that it's pretty almost impossible to do that on the day of. How long is uh, graduation, the whole ceremony? No one knows. Yeah, it'll feel like maybe 40 hours. Mm. No, but honestly, no, we don't know. Because yeah. we've, we've, all never done, we've never done four separate sport, four separate um, okay. ones. So for many years, we had all, everybody was in one. Yeah. And then starting about four or five years ago, we broke into two. And now we're into four. So... So probably at least two hours, two and a half hours. Um, but okay. it's honestly, until we do it, we don't know. Kind of a bummer that it's on a Sunday, but right, it's on a Sunday. I mean, I, I, we, we typically have them on Saturdays. We have them on Sundays. So that, that's, that's a, a fairly, fairly normal thing. Okay. The robes are silly any day of the week. Yeah. Well, and ours can't really go that long anyway because ours is first. It can't go too. That's too true. Because there's a second one. And they've got to get ours. They've got to. They have to get ours finished so that everybody can leave campus so that all the people coming for the next one have a place to park. Um. So it. 
I think it is not unreasonable to just expect um, a lot of joyful chaos. Um, we're going to shift gears. We have more, we'll have more time to chat about this stuff uh, later if there's um, more questions. Oh, Lewis, go ahead. Quick, squeeze it in there. Go. Um, so I've used up all my tickets, but I have uh, really young siblings. And I was wondering if they've showed up, if anyone would make a hassle about it. Who the hell knows, dude? Probably not. But but uh, I mean, if you, if you plopped them into a seat, there might be some issues. But if you people were just holding them in their laps or whatever, I, I would be surprised if someone would would lose it on them. They yeah, told me that silly, anybody whatever. over the age of one has to have a ticket because my I, I had the same question because my daughter is uh, four. Over the age of one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to have um, the COVID test done 48 hours prior. Okay, cool. Okay. Thanks for the info. If they're too young, like to get the vaccination, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was actually wondering if the COVID test could be an at home one or if we actually had to go get it done. You're no, talking. they told me that you could do that at home one. You just have to write the date and your name on it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, all, Thank all you. That, all that stuff, you guys, all that, all that sort of specific as to can I get more tickets and, and that kind of stuff. We just, Dr. Ryan, Dr. Ryan and I just simply are not involved in that logistical side of stuff. So we can provide big picture, like rough idea about time and that. But as far as like- Based on prior be, experience. Yeah. Are you going to be allowed into this with this condition or that? Or, or where is the handicap parking or something like that? We just, that's just not, uh, we're not included in those decisions. So, so I, I just dropped the commencement link in the chat. Um, and so one way or another, most of the answers you're looking for will be there. Um, but good luck and keep us posted. Yeah, I think, I think Suzanne had some question or, or the last time there was some comment about um, like if you want to put your name in for for a pool access to extra tickets, right? Did, did that go well for people? Or yeah, people try that? yeah. So I had um, I was on the wait list for five extra tickets. Um, I might have one available. I have to double check and make sure that my people are coming. But if somebody needs one extra ticket, I, I might have it for you just let me know if you need one and I'll let you and we'll be in contact. I could possibly have extras too. So I, I would suggest, hey, um, I would suggest since, since you guys can email, I believe you guys can all email the whole class as well. If you guys do that, maybe you can just do that on our capstone um, canvas uh, email. Yeah. Or start a, start a, a commencement discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And then you guys can just amongst yourselves uh, 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 mix and match or offer whatever. Cool. Woo. Right on schedule. Um, so we want, we want to spend a little bit of time thinking about uh, the symposium last week, and we kind of got a little bit of a, a short debrief um, sort of in situ um, on Thursday evening. But what we want to do now is we, we really want you to actually think about this experience you had and gleaned from it some information that will help you sort of grow academically grow, professionally grow as a researcher that will make the whole event uh, more useful to you in the long-term big picture. Um, and so we have three questions we'd like you to ponder um, and we'll put you in a breakout room to, to talk them through. And then we will ask you in a bit here to write them down and share them with us. Um, but so three things we would love for you to noodle on. We'd like to know what's one thing that you are proud of from your sort of poster or presentation of your poster, your pitch or yourself um, from this symposium, right? Like y'all, y'all did great. What's the thing that you did as an individual that like you're like, that you feel like proud of, like right, right here in your heart. Um, second thing, what's something you learned? Maybe you learned it from a colleague's poster. Maybe it's something you learned about yourself. Maybe someone asked you a great question about your own project and you learned something, right? But like, what's something that you learned that actually like came away with that you didn't know before? Um, and lastly, if you were to do it all over again, what's the one thing that, that you might do a little bit differently? Um, 
So three questions, something you're proud of, something you learned, something you changed the next time around. Um, <clears throat> and do you have the rooms queued up, doctor? Or you want me to do yeah, that? I do. I do. I'm ready. Um, open them? So, uh, so we're going to open these rooms. I'll, let me drop these in the chat for everybody right now. And just so that you'll see them. Um, everyone, and we are going to ask you to respond and write these down. So don't, don't blow this off. Two and whoop and three. Okay. Three questions. Um, let me take, Tell you what, before I open the rooms, everybody just take three minutes right now. I'll start a timer to jot down some ideas so that you can go in your breakout rooms with something to, to chat about. We'll just do three quiet minutes right now, and then we'll open the rooms and give you about 15 or 20 minutes to chat about them. And then we'll, we'll come back and, um, and debrief in plenary. Cool? Cool. Cool. I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop the recording, Dan. <laughs> 